good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy today's video, make sure you come back tomorrow. tomorrow. It's been 30 minutes and we still haven't done anything. Just chilling. <laughs> Guys, I am pumped because my acupuncturist office reopened and they're doing limited hours and only taking a certain amount of people a day. Um, and so I am going back to acupuncture today. Hello, hello. So it is later in the day, later than I expected. Um, I'm going to be honest because that's the best thing to do is my humdrum day yesterday flew, f flowed, flowed into today. Woke up, not in a good mood. Work, my work thing didn't work out because of these files that I needed uploaded by a different company weren't uploaded and I sent emails asking for them and they didn't get back. So that was kind of a bummer. And then just like my mood is just, was just down again. And then I was down because my mood was down and that's my biggest fault. And I'm sure that's kind of common, but I really get down on myself for being down instead of just taking a breath and being like, it's okay. Like take actions or do something that will potentially turn your day around. Um, and Sarah tried telling me that and I just kind of like sat around and while she was editing the vlog and then she was getting ready for her acupuncture where she's at now. So then when she went, I took a shower, I did the dishes. I've been listening to Les Brown. Les Brown is one of my favorite um, motivational speakers and just like, I, that's his real title, but like half the stuff I feel like isn't motivational. It's just like, like good lessons to think about. I mean, I guess it's motivational speaking. Anyway, um, I'm trying, but I still haven't been sleeping too right. My, my, my eyes been twitching for days now and I feel like it's either a combination of stress or the humdrumness or the lack of sleep. Um, but we'll get through it. But that has been the morning half of my day. Um, and then I think when Sarah comes back, which should be soon, we're gonna turn this day around. We're gonna go get these tater tots from this food truck that we've been kind of hunting down for a few weeks and then do some uh, grocery shopping and hopefully some other fun stuff. But we will go from there. I'm gonna finish listening to my Les Brown and um, just kind of wait for Sarah. Okay, so we ventured out for some pre-grocery shopping lunch at Ivanhoe Park Brewing Company. There's a food truck over here called Knocker Tots that we're going to eat. A little sneaky snack. I think I'm going to get a beer from this Ivanhoe Brewing. You fancy. It's all plant-based tater tot, delectable, nutritious, delicious. We're each getting our own. I don't know how nutritious it is, but... <laughs> the cheese is like probably made with nuts, you know, it's... Deep fried tots? Potatoes, don't think so. Vegetables. I've been eyeing these on Instagram for so long. For they followed us back today, so maybe this Ooh. is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Here is the menu. I did not realize there were so many options. It is not only plant-based, it's also veteran-owned and operated. So here's the beer menu. Made in house, all of these. Really cool. With Disney doing their halfway to Halloween, I got half Tober Vienna Lager. Totally ravioli. This is chili with mac and cheese, sour cream, chives, and onions. Holy smokes. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, these ones, they warned us, they're super spicy with mango habanero and buffalo and jalapeno. This tea sauce. This is uh, going to be gone in four seconds. It's very sunny. <laughs> yeah, I've already tried both. That's got a lot of spice. There's a spicy sauce, spicy powder, so good. And this is just like, this is a five pound thing of, of tater tots <laughs> right here. We have a bunch of tater tots, a bunch of mac and cheese, a bunch of chili. All delicious. I want this sauce. Well, I think what I realized that was absolutely <laughs> divine. I got like halfway through and I was like so full. And then we like no. talked for a little and then we were able to rally and finish. So yummy. 
That was, I want to get another one almost, but I'll resist. My mouth is so spicy. I like the buffalo more than the chili. Yeah, the cheese was definitely, the, it, the, okay, so I'll caveat. I have to give them respect. It's not like their staple. Right, it's kind of, it's it's a side item. Right, it was great without it. Yeah. You like the buffalo more, right? Yeah. So did I. I but the chili the was good. I was nervous. A lot of times with chili mac and cheese kind of things at a, rest, at a place like this, the mac and cheese is more crafty. Yeah. That was really good mac and cheese. Yeah. And good chili. And good chili. And the sour cream. And good tots. The buffalo is like better than your typical buffalo. It wasn't just like smothered in buffalo sauce. It was spiced. A whole bunch of different flavors. And this half Half-tober fest was really good. It makes me feel like I need to. It needs to be winter time in Epcot. Walking around World Showcase with a Schaffenhofer. It is not halfway to Halloween. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. They will be here next Sunday, and then they mentioned another location that I don't know what it is, but they said they'll they always post where they'll be. And so we go follow them, them on so. Instagram. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show you the brewing side of it because they're separate from the Ivanhoe Brewing Park Co Ivanhoe Park Brewing Co but look at this cool tower and there's like Christmas lights on it that light up at night I'll run past this one of these nights when I go on a even maybe tonight maybe because I actually run that lake I run by is on the other side of this building but I, I never even knew this was here yeah until now yeah we'll have to come back it's about to start raining and we need to go grocery shopping Right, I feel like Florida might be back for the summer because it's just like that weird Florida rain, sun, and it's it's only gonna last until five, so. Florida's back. Alrighty, so I am waiting in the car while Peter is grocery shopping, and I just wanted to talk really quick about the whole Half-tober debacle. Um, I, I love the Halloween posts that Disney's making right now. I truly, truly do. You guys know we love Halloween. However, I'm also, somebody who celebrates half birthdays and I know how half birthdays work and just because it's the middle of May like the 15th to the it's like half of 30 like 31st for Halloween it doesn't make it halfway to Halloween now Halloween's half birthday is April 30 I mean there's no April 31st so like between April 30th and May 1st that is its actual half birthday and so to me I'm like they just probably realized that it was getting close and they're like, oh, this could be a great marketing thing. But now everyone's posting, it's halfway to Halloween and it's been halfway to Halloween. I don't know, I think it's just my half birthday celebrating mind that I like it to be accurate when people are talking about half things. Um, so yeah, that is why Peter thought it was extra funny that his beer was called Halftober because I had just did this same rant to Peter earlier <laughs> this morning. Uh, I forgot a quarter at home, so this is gonna be interesting to check out at Aldi. Peter got most of what we need from Aldi. We're gonna hop on into, well, he's gonna hop on into Publix to get the rest of it. And we gotta fill up our tires. Yeah. They're hope, looking low. I hope they just are low from sitting and not that there's another hole in one of them. Three hours later. Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. No. Publix took way longer than Aldi. Expected. Yeah, because Aldi was like, go to the can section, go to the produce section, wipe them clean. Publix was more of like going, I literally went down every aisle once, and some of them I went down two or three times. Yeah, and then I feel like at Publix, we always like realize other things that we need, like kombucha wasn't on the list, or yeah, just like random little things, so. It's good. This was empty, basically empty earlier today. Lots of good cans, lots of good breads, lots of good side dishes. I'm very excited for all our planned meals. Which hasn't happened in a long time because you know I haven't been up for cooking. Well if it isn't one of my main dudes from Wall Street, money never sleeps. We just started Ant-Man a little bit ago and now we're about to indulge in some of our about to indulge in some of our vegan ice cream. I have the caramel apple crumble and Sarah went the good old fashioned banana foster route. I must say that was the first time I've ever seen Ant-Man and I was thoroughly 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 impressed. It was so good. Got has me real pumped about Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, but the next movie we're watching is Captain America Civil War. So you know we just finished Ant-Man 
and I'm looking at what's next. And Peter finds out that Civil War, Captain America Civil War, is next. And I say, we can watch it tonight. You should have heard how excited he was. I squealed. <laughs> He's like, really? I'm like, yeah. He's like, ah! So, we're going to dive right back into another movie. Another movie or another moody? What? Sounds like you said moody. A moody movie, it looks like. Yeah. Get her. <laughs> that was not the climactic. You're supposed to run. <laughs> Evie, come on! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <gasps> oh no! Go get him! The doorbell is her worst enemy. That is her secret hiding place. Oh gosh! This is psychological warfare. Gosh. All right, it is Saturday, the 16th, almost Sarah's birthday. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Today's quote is by Albert Camus. Real generosity towards the future lies in giving all to the present. Oh, I dig it. So we're getting ready to go to bed. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do tomorrow because... Sarah wants to, has a few ideas of what she wants to do because we can celebrate her birthday tomorrow even though it's Monday. Like just having more like freedom to go somewhere during the day could be fun. Because his birthday's on Monday. Yeah, and you work. I mean, I work too, but your work is more intense. Um, Look this Captain place. America Civil War? <laughs> <laughs> Captain America Civil War? Pretty good. Basically Pretty good. an Avengers movie. Yeah, but also sad. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really like that. I want to like fly through the next, what are they, three more movies until the end games? I think five. I think Black Panther, Spider Man, Doctor Thor. Strange, Thor, Ant Man and Wasp. Oh, uh, and then the last two. Yeah. I don't know if that's the order or not, but. Oh, gosh. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>